Okay, so if we want to make our image resize work on our local computer, we first need to install this library here called Pillow, okay? So our console told us that we are lacking a module called Pill. Now Pill is, from what I know, a deprecated library in Python, and instead people have moved on to use Pillow, which essentially here it says it's a fork of the Pill library, okay? So if we install this library here, we will be able to uh, resize images on the fly uh, on our local computer. Obviously this functionality is already set up in production so you don't need to do anything for it to work in production. Actually if you were if you were to deploy your code into production now it would work. However it's always nice to to you know make sure and and have the exact same functionality on our local computer as we would have in production. So this is the very few cases where we actually need to install additional libraries in order to, to make this behavior be the same, okay? So, so go to pillow.readthedocs.org, okay? Once you're here, go into installation. And under installation, basically, we, we see here there's all the various um, operating systems that are listed here and how to install them. So for Linux, um, all you need to do is essentially run this command, which installs a couple of libraries. And here it says, you know, So here we can see that, you know, Linux users shouldn't even need to install this library because as it says here, Fedora, Debian, Ubuntu, and Arch Linux include Pillow in, in their distributions. So Linux users should be covered. If you're not, then you just go ahead and run this command. And if you're in Fedora, then, then you have different commands. Uh, for the Mac users, I recommend going with, with this option here if you don't have Brew and if you don't know what Brew is. Just, just go ahead and I'll actually do it um, so you can just wait and, until I go over this and we can do it together. But essentially I'm going to be running the pip command, okay? For the Windows users, you can simply, I believe this is the easiest way, so open up your command prompt and simply say easy install, so easy underscore install in pillow. So this should install the pillow library. By the way, easy install is just a a library manager for, for Python modules. Um, you can try other options if that doesn't work, but this should work. If you have any problems, you know, as usual, just post a message in, in the lecture and I'll I'll make sure to, to go over that and, and, and make sure you can actually install it successfully. And then there's just different platforms here. Okay, so since I'm on a Mac, I'm going to be using the, the pip command, which we saw before. So I'm going to open up my terminal. Okay, and whenever, okay, so, so first thing, check if you have pip by running the pip command, okay? So here we can see it prompted me with the help, so uh, I'm, I'm sure I have pip installed. If you don't have pip insta installed, you need to run the command sudo easy install pip, okay? This will prompt you for your password. Okay. Okay, and since I already had pip installed, well, the process was very quick. Um, so, so that's the way you install pip on a Mac. So you run again sudo easy underscore install pip, and now you can use pip to install pillow. So again, sudo pip install pillow. Okay, pillow with a capital P. And since, again, I already have it installed, then, you know, it's giving me the, this, this message here, okay? Uh, 